So this graph here is a graph of a function that we're calling y, and we're told that y is the integral from zero to x of f of t. Then we're asked over which intervals is f, this function inside here, positive and negative, and over which intervals is this function in here, zero. Now we're supposed to base that on this graph. And I think the easiest way to understand this is by taking a first derivative of our function. If we take a derivative of y with respect to x, I'll just call it y prime, what is the derivative of this integral here? Well, the first fundamental theorem of calculus tells us that this is just f of x. So now we have this equation here that says y prime equals f of x. That means that the slope of y equals the function f. Well, we can actually go to this function and find the slope of y directly from the graph. On this interval from 0 to 1, what's the slope here? It looks like our slope is 3. On this interval here from 1 to 2, it looks like the slope of y equals 0. On the next interval from 2 to 3, it looks like our slope is negative 3. On the interval from 3 to 4, our slope appears to be 4. From 4 to 5, our slope appears to be 0. And on our interval from 5 to 6, our slope appears to be negative 2. Well, every time we find the slope of y, we're finding the function value of f. So if we're asking where f is positive, we're asking where is y prime positive. Well, y prime is positive right here and right here. So f of x is positive on the interval 0 to 1 and 3 to 4. And if we want to know where f of x is negative, we just need to know where y prime is negative. So y prime is negative on this interval here and this interval here. That would be the interval 2 to 3 and the interval 5 to 6. And where is f of x 0? Well, that's just where y prime is 0. That would be the interval 1 to 2 and 4 to 5. And if you want to know the maximum value of f, you just need to know the maximum value of y prime. And same with the minimum. Looks like the minimum value of f is right there. Now the average value of a function over the interval 0 to 6 is an interesting question. Recall that the average value of a function is given by 1 over the length of the interval, that would be 6 minus 0 in this case, times the integral from the lower end of the interval to the upper end of the interval of the function. So this is the formula that we need to use to find the average value of our function from the interval 0 to 6. Now that requires us to find this integral right here, but let me remind you that in the first step of the problem they gave us that y equals the integral from 0 to x of this function. Maybe slightly better notation would have been y is a function of x is this integral. So you'll agree that if we plug in x equals 6, we get the exact integral that we're looking for right here. Well, where would we find y of 6 on this graph? Well, y of 6 is just the y value of this function at x equals 6. So that appears to be 2 to me. Straight off of the graph there, the y value of that function is 2. So our average value of our function is 1 6 times 2, which is just 1 3rd. Now that is a little bit perplexing. It might take a little bit of staring at. You might have to watch that video a couple of times. But that is the answer.